Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here. Welcome back to more Valkyria Chronicles with me, Voices from the Dark. I already said my name, and now you know it again. So let's start Chapter 2, Escape from Brule. Tanks are rolling in, Imperials everywhere. How are we gonna get out of this sticky mess? Let's find out. Isara, Martha, please be okay. when she's dead. Stop this now. See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave, now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Die! Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <coughs> Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Is. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. Alright. Time to find out the legacy, what the legacy of our fathers is. And as you can guess from the picture, we're about to roll in a tank. Hopefully there's not going to be another baby born in the barn, because the last time that happened, things just went crazy in the world, so let's see what happens. Dad's tank! Whoa, I can't believe it's still here! And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power-to-weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field-worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work... What's next? Alright. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Isara, we ready to roll? Engaging engine! The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out!
it's time for this show to get started. Here we go. Retreat from Brule. We're going to be rolling in with a tank. A tank's always going to be part of the missions for almost every mission, I think, so it's important that we learn how to handle one. And it's quite fun. Here's the brief for this operation. The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brule Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We'll need to use sandbags around the starting point and the gate to cover to hold back the Empire's attack, obviously. Okay, so we need to destroy the main tank, and they're going to be charging down All right, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. The, the street to take out our gates. So let's go, this is going to be interesting. Okay. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. Oh no. <gasps> the town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. That sounds good. Excuse my sneeze, Alicia. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. Sure. Sandbags and hand grenades. Uh yep. It helps us aim better, and hand grenades destroy them, and they're limited in number. You already know this, you're one step ahead of the game right now. Oh right, but they don't know this, because right now they are alone. Uh, Welkin hasn't showed up in the tank yet, he's still on his way, so... Well... Let's send over a town watchman first. Let's go over here. Let's be careful with that tank there. Okay. There's one hiding behind there. Oh right, you can actually go around here. That's actually a much better route. I wonder if I can get back now. Oh. Let's go here instead. I'll lose a few AP, but I feel like this is a much safer route to take. Alright. Let's go. Can I hide in the grass here? No. Crawl. Here we go. This will make us impossible to see and even harder to um, kill. So we can have this town watchman just stationed over there in the meantime. And we can have this watchman. He needs to try and move up but still stay out of sight of the tank. That's at all possible. Can I get a good shot here? I wonder. Oh god, Town Watchman. This is gonna be a tricky one, so please, do your best. Yes! That's how we roll. Good work, Town Watchman. You're not even important enough for a win animation. Filthy casual. Alright. Actually, let's crawl up a bit. Let's see what's going on over here. There's any bad activity to report on. I might as well scout out a little. Or I'm not sure if they can see... Oh, I could get a sneak attack on this guy. And I should. But I need more ammo, so I have to end the turn to get more of that. Yeah, there's a lot of people standing guard here. Oh. Ah, there we go. The guy next to him is like, oh, what happened? Perfect, so we can use this watchman as a sniper to take out the troops from behind. Well, this guy will, uh... Well, he's just there. He's keeping watch. Let's try this again. Oh, he saw me. And he's hiding. Well, we don't have a grenade, so... This is actually not very good. I'm going to choose not to fire, because if I fired, he would be allowed to counterattack me. I would rather lay down here and wait for him to potentially come around the corner so I can shoot him. Let's just move back a little bit so I have time to shoot him before he charges. Alright, I think that seems good. 
Alright, not a terrible first round, not the best. Let's end the phase and see what they're up to. The tank's probably gonna get closer. So we don't know where those three are because they're out of our line of sight. Wait, Alicia, why are you not a... Why isn't Alicia taking cover yet? Do I have to do that manually, huh? I thought Alicia would... Oh no, she's she's kind of... Oh no. I think it's going to be focusing on the gate. <gasps> yes, then why... Oh. Okay, it's firing on the gate. That's kind of good. Because it could one-shot Alicia. Oh, there we go. Our town watchman is doing what it's supposed to. And laying down just in time. That's good. That's just what I hired you for, Town Watchman. Good work. Alright, so they are trying to be sneaky and move across here. Okay. Hiding behind the tank, too. Oh, he got... Ex oh, God, he got close, too. <laughs> okay, um... That's not good. Alright, so Alicia has some work to do the next rounds. Here comes a shock trooper. We don't want to get close quarters with them. That's pretty much our death. Snipe him from afar. God damn it. I forgot to put Alicia into cover. As I said, I'm still a bit rusty. Okay, this one's going to be tricky. They're pretty much all over me right now. So let's... Ragnades. We can heal with Ragnades. We can also use them on others. Alright. Oh my god, Alicia has so many people looking at her. Before we do anything, let's choose this guy. Oh, target mode immediately to avoid damage. Just shoot him in the body to be safe. Okay. I think it's about time this guy headed back. They don't seem to be as keen in walking over there as I thought they would be, so... We might as well have him here, where he will do more good. Oh! And take more damage, but that's okay. Right, Alicia. And this should kill you. Yep, he was so weak that even though he was pine sandbags, he died. Hmm. Right, good. Alicia's not gonna make it for a long time if that keeps going on. I do have some grenades though, which would be good. How am I gonna take out you? I'm almost scared of going back to Alicia because she might die. Okay, um... Here's what we do. Quickly aim modes. We can't kill this guy because he's behind cover. Right, Ragnades. Is it possible for me to use that on Alicia or is she too far away? Alicia. And then... Fire. Does that work? Yes, that works, even though it's kind of far away. Oh. Just to make sure she's all healed up and uh, ready to go. We have one more point. And I'm gonna spend it on a grenade, I think. Oh! Target mode activates. I can't throw it far enough. I, need I had to get closer in that case. Oh my... This is a tricky situation, though. Uh, do I run... He's... Mm. He's probably going to advance up towards the gate to throw a grenade, I think. Now. Let's take out this sandbank, just in case that's what he does. And then let's just quickly end the turn before he can snipe us. Okay. I'm probably not playing this 100% uh, perfect, but... That's not my intent either. Right, right now we're just trying to outlast them. Oh no. The gate is crumbling. No. If this keeps up. I know, I know, dear. But there's nothing we can do to actually stop the tank right now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. He has to run. And just as I thought, he will now have no place to hide. Which is excellent. Although the gate's gonna be down in like two more tank shots. Oh yeah, mo try moving again. Perfect. Now we're gonna retaliate. Kill him. Kill him on this one. It's very essential that you kill him on this one. Oh, you 
Could have done so much more, Alicia. Could have been something. I gotta move that one guy from hiding out in the uh, the bushes over there. He took out a few of them, but not enough apparently. All right, let's keep it up, guys. Let's keep it up. You're doing a good job so far. All right, we have to survive another phase. It's gotten really close. <gasps> yes, Wilkin is here. Here we go. Here we go, guys. All right. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. So just like, yeah, okay. Tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to deflect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume 2 CP when selected in command modes. Relying too heavily on tanks in battle will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of CP. Additionally, tanks require AP to turn, so take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the turn's end. Basically, don't have your butt against the enemy, because this blue thing on the back, this ragnade motor thing, that's our weak spot. So basically, we have the anti-armor shell, which is, well, great against tanks. Yep. Uh, effective against enemies covered in hard armor, such as tanks. Explosive will hit a like a wide area, good for taking care of people behind sandbags. And mortars can uh, like drill down enemies at close range. The machine gun is best suited for striking enemies that are close to the mortar and is used to intercept incoming enemies. All right, I knew all of this. All right, so let's go. Here we go. Welcome to the rescue. I'm gonna save them hoes. Here we go. All right. It's a tank. It's a galleon tank. That's right. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welcome. You have a tank? <laughs> we can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. Alright, let's go take it down. Alright, here we go then. So right now there are two enemies here. There's one standing here, he's trying to snipe my butt, but I won't let that happen. Which one do I fear the most though? Let's take care of this guy first. Since I can't reach the tank, I might as well blow up this guy and clear the path for me. Alright, and I should have some more AP to move the tank. I can get closer. And I guess I should... Alright, keep going. I can fire up my butt, but it's not a... Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm gonna use all my AP being stuck. It's not a big issue. Can I get to the tank's position? Oh yes, I can even see the weak spot. This is where you wanna hit. Come on, come on, please hit. Yes! Direct impact. Tanks HP. Tanks have two separate HP totals, the body HP and the tread HP. Attacks to the tank's body and main cannon will reduce the BHP, while blows to the treads will take the tread HP, obviously. If the body reaches zero, the tank blows up. If the treads reach zero, AP is drastically cut. They basically, like, make your ability to move really bad. These are deal damage to the treads than to the body, even with grenades. Halting a tank before taking it out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. Also, you can like place mines that a tank will run over and then destroy the gears and make sure that it can't really get to you as well. The glowing blue radiator plate at the tank's rear is its weak point, where even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. Alright, I feel like we did pretty well there. One more attack like that, and that tank is going down. Now, this guy in the corner, I don't approve of him. Is, is Alicia going to have enough health? Yeah, Alicia is fine. Alright, let's go get our revenge on this guy over here. You thought you had forgotten about the town watchman. That he was history. That he was no more. Little did they expect. That he would rise again! Prepare to die, fool! 
<laughs> ah, he got his moment of glory as well. Ah, good work, Town Watchman. All right, let's get back here. All right, let's crawl here. Perfect. All right, let's end the turn. They shouldn't be able to breach the gate this turn. We should be fine, hopefully. Enemy face time. Blasted Imperials. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Don't worry. The Edelweiss will survive. And he's throwing a grenade. Won't do much. Not too worried. I think we're probably gonna get like a C rating on this, because I didn't do very well on this, I have to be honest. I could have done a lot better, but I remember actually failing this mission the first time I played, so it's sort of the first tricky mission, especially if you're a beginner. Alright. Player face. Time to end this, once and for all. You come to my town, you gotta play by my rules. Boom! Good job. Operation complete and it's so all beautiful. <sighs> yes, we stopped it. Nice work, Ys. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! She... she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Good! That's fantastic! And now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Okay, that's rather miraculous birth. The B rating! That seems to be where I'm at. I'm just slightly below good. That's where I'm at. Alright, and this experience and cash we can all spend later, once we get to the big meat of the game, once we can actually, like, hire people, talk to people, upgrade our tank, our gear, our weapons. Oh, so pumped. A new episode has been added. This is going to be the, um, us leaving Brule, so it's going to be quite teary -eyed. But here we go. We can't stay home forever. Sometimes we have to, uh, Go on and fight for what's ours, and that time is right now. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Brule was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? 
Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. <laughs>